Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Young. Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, the comparison between the uh, properties of our cans and our kins, including uh, physical and also chemical properties. Okay, we are going to compare properties for our cans and our kins, and this is very important because this is a famous question since SPMs. So when being asked, the questions will be in your, mostly in your paper two, uh, even in essay questions. Our cans and our kins have similar physical properties because they are both are hydrocarbons uh, built up with uh, carbons and hydrogens only. For physical properties, in terms of melting and boiling points, both are very, very low, both are very low melting and boiling point, both are increased gradually with uh, increasing of a uh, number of carbons. Kedua-dua tak ada bo dan tak ada titik untuk uh, alkana dan alkina adalah rendah dan mereka meningkat apabila bilangan karbon meningkat. So for physical state, they are changing from the first member which is gases to liquid and the and the rest of the member are solid, both are the same. Dua-dua mempunyai uh, perubahan sifat fizik dari gas secaya dan seterusnya yang di bawah yang, peri, yang makin besar molekul menjadi solid. So the density both are low intensity, both are in uh, the density are increased gradually with the increasing of number of carbon. Okay. Even though they are having low density, but the density will be increased gradually okay, with the increasing of number of carbon. For solubility, both are insoluble in water, dua-dua tidak larut dalam air. Both soluble in organic solvents, kedua-duanya larut dalam uh, larutan organic. And both are not non-electric conductivity tidak mengalirkan elektrik because they are all covalent compound. Can you identify the structural formula of hexane and hexene? Drag the correct structural formula to the correct label. Okay, we're going to choose uh, hexene and hexane. Hexane, this is our hexane. So which one, uh, which is we have a six carbon, hex six carbon with uh, all single bond. So hexene, hexene is we also have six carbon, enam carbon, tapi dengan sekurang-kurangnya satu double bond. Well done. Now, let's compare and contrast between alkenes and alkenes. In the activity, Hexane is used to represent an alkane and hexene is used to represent an alkene. Click any of the blinking buttons to begin. Okay, now we're going to see uh, the difference in chemical Let's properties. look at the combustion of hexane and hexene. Observe the amount of soot produced during the combustion of hexane and hexene. Click any of the images to watch the video. So now it's a combustion of hexene for our kins. Huh? Based on your observation, answer this question. Key in your answer in the space provided. Click the check button when you are done. The combustion of hexene produces more soot. Both hexane and hexene have the same number of carbon atom, but why did the combustion of hexene produce more soot than the combustion of hexane? Let's calculate the percentage of carbon by mass in hexane and hexene to find out. Key in your answers in the space provided. Click the check button when you are done. 
So now we do the calculations for uh, percentage of carbon by mass for hexane, which is a uh, example for our can. And we found that the answer is 83.7 for can. And this one is for our kins, our kina. From the calculation, we know that hexene has a higher percentage of carbon by mass. That is why combustion of hexene produces more soot than hexene. Like any organic molecule, alkene burns in plenty of oxygen to form carbon dioxide and steam. However, because they have a higher percentage of carbon in their molecules than alkenes, they burn with sootier flames. Now we exchange with bromine. In this activity, we will compare the reactions of hexane and hexane with bromine. Click any of the images to watch the video. See, hexane with bromine is decolorized. And now hexane, alkina, here with bromine. Observe the color change, uh, they got global one now. Also decolorized. Uh, What do you observe from the activity? Key in your answer into the observation table. Click the check button when you are done. So they are brown. Tested with color, liquid bromine, both alkane and alkene decolorized the brown color of liquid bromine. In this activity, the reaction of each hexane and hexene is tested with acidified potassium manganate 7 solution. Click any of the images to watch the video. Okay, yang ini ialah untuk uh, hexana, alkana dengan KMnO4. Perhatikan perubahan warna. Observe the color change. Okay, this one is for uh, Alkina Hexene with uh, KMnO4. Juga perhatikan perubahan warna dia. From purple to colorless. What did you observe? Key in your answers in the observation table. Click the check button when you are done. When reacted with acidified potassium manganate 7, hexane does not change the purple color of acidified potassium manganate 7. Alkenes, on the other hand, decolorized the purple color of potassium manganate 7. What can you conclude from all the activities that you have done? Click the right answer and then click the check button when you are done. Okay, after we do the experiment, so we can see the differences in between our cans and our kins. So for our can is uh, saturated hydrocarbons, 
tebu for our kin is unsaturated, tidak tebu. In terms of chemical bondings, our cans are single, single bonds only. But our kins, we have double and single sing, uh, carbon-carbon bonds. Percentage of carbons, so our cans are having lower, lower, but our kins are having higher percentage of carbon. So that's why sootiness in the frame, the bay banyak uh, asap hitam, our cans getting less kurang asap hitam, our kins more sooty mean the bay banyak asap hitam. Colors of the added bromine for our cans decolorize, for our kins also decolorize. These two are the same. So color of SCT5 potassium magnesium 7 for our kana do not decolorize, tidak uh, berubah. But for our kins, decolorize. So these are the comparison between uh, our cans and our kins. So in terms of uh, chemical properties, characteristics of uh, chemia. Well done. Okay, uh, have a look with the table regarding to the summary of the differences between our cans and our kins. So our cans and our kins have different the chemical properties. So these are the table to show the chemical properties. Uh, just to summarize on what we have uh, seen previously in the video is the same thing. So any other last uh, summary? Okay. Rumusan kepada perbezaan antara sifat kimia alkana dan alkina. Sama juga seperti mana apa yang kita perhatikan uh, dalam video sebelum ini. That's all for the uh, video regarding to the comparison between uh, chemical and physical properties of our cans and our kins. So uh, stay tuned for the next video regarding to the uh, next subtopic, which is uh, for alcohol. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, you can subscribe. Thank you very much.